She's losing it. Losing it? She lost it months ago. I ain't sure what to do. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Jose, how are you? Good evening, Arthur. Anything I need to know about? Not that I can think of. Hey, Arthur. Well, you know where I am. <laughs> Most of the time. All right, Arthur. Have a nice evening. Good evening. One of my boots would be more tender than this. Yeah, one of your boots probably would. You okay? You joining us? Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. Anyway, you know what to do. Okay, then. Charles? Why don't you sit a while? You good there? Of course. Why? Well, you always are. Yep. mother told me about an animal that attacked the cattle and drank their blood. Of course, you've all heard about this. Every place has one of those, but my mother's version was a little different. Along with farmyard animals, her version also ate little boys who misbehaved. <laughs> oh, she tried everything she could to keep me in line. Prepare me for a life of starving servitude while picking corn and cotton for rich landowners. 
giving every penny I had to the church they used to keep us in line. I, I loved my mother. But she never saw how things were. Even after they killed her brother, still. She could not see how life was. You don't talk about your mother much. It's painful for me. Sure, I understand. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur. All right. Evening. Good evening to you. Long day, Arthur. Hey, boy. Hey, evening. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with it now. Evening. Evening, Arthur. Is the boy behaving himself? For the most part. There he is. We should do something fun this evening. You're growing up fast. That's what Mama says, too. Just don't turn into me. You promise? Uh-huh. Don't want him turning out like his pa. Really, Arthur? I'm only joking with you. Well, it's not funny.
Hey, boy. Come here. Micah, you in a better mood today? Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And... That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Morning, dear. Good morning. Bet you never thought you'd end up here, huh? I didn't know where I'd end up. Funny how things turn out. Okay, Mr. Morgan. 
He's still here. What now? So, you're still alive? Of course. Guess you must be doing something right. All right then, cowpoke. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Good to see you. Putting the world to rights there? Trying to, Mr. Morgan. Well, don't let me disturb you. Take care, Arthur. Hello, John. Hey. Hey there, folks. Good morning, Arthur. Hello. What's been going on? You know, this and that. There she is. Morning. Oh, thanks again for that book, Arthur. I left something for you over by your tent. Morning. Morning. Plenty. Morning. It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. Okay. How are you? Money. Hey, hey. <laughs> what? I forgot what it was now. Quit with the ruckus. I'm tired. <laughs> 
Morning. Hey. Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Well, thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy, Kieran, since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, good. Let me know. Yep.
give some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> They probably heard us. What the hell? What the hell you think you're doing? She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> Get after them! Yeah. There! Straight ahead! I saw them go through those bushes! Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you! They're heading down the hill! To the ah. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did! Oh, there they are by the shoreline! We're coming for you, you bastards! You picked the wrong girl! so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Uh. Let's go for a ride. Uh. Step, do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, oh, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. 
What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Shut the hell up. your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Alright, let's go. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right, you. <laughs> Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Wait here, girl. 